Good morning. It's Monday. I was going to say it's Tuesday. No, it's Monday. That's cool. It's good, but it's not good. I think I said at the end of last week's vlog last night when I got home, it was Tuesday, but it's Monday. It's Hello. It's Mummy and Daddy's anniversary today. And I didn't forget, did I? You did. Well, I didn't get, I didn't forget, I got reminded, which is good, yesterday Daddy by come, Phoebe. Yeah. Daddy come back from London yesterday. <clears throat> yeah, so those of you that watched the vlog, uh, last week's vlog that went up on Monday, uh, it's Monday today and I haven't edited it yet, so that is basically what I'm doing today. We're going to go uh, walk the dogs with the kids. Huh? It's out in on DVD. Oh, she likes the Smurfs. Yeah. Look, look on TV. I don't want to show people the Smurfs. Oh, the Smurfs. Yeah. There you go. Um, yeah. So I am walking uh, the dogs with the kids, and then I am gonna edit the vlog from last week. So that's up late uh, because I was away in London, and then uh, I'm gonna head down to the studio because the tiling's been done, uh, and then I'm gonna actively start looking for more people to interview for uh, a colleague slash production company. Because uh, I just, uh, after meeting people this weekend, it's really important to find the right person. So, uh, yeah, uh, it's it's a busy one. I don't know how much I'm going to film today, to be honest, because I'm really tired. Uh, and then later on, I'm probably going to cook Mrs. Barry a meal, because we can't get a babysitter. Uh, yeah, I might just make a jacket potato or something. How are you, okay? Good to you, Barry. Oh, that's cool, whatever that is. Um, oh, no, we showed that last week. I don't know what they say. I'll come back for you for me. Yeah. High five. Right. Ready? No, no, no. She left me hanging. <laughs> um, Ready? Oh, okay. Ready? High One thing I will say is, um, this today we were going to have our garden started working on, um, but because there was terrible weather last week, uh, the people are going to actually start next Monday. So actually, the way I'm feeling today, it's a bit of a blessing in disguise. Um, how are you feeling, Phoebe? You okay? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mrs. Barry's gone to work, but I'm sure we'll catch up with her later in the week. Mrs. Barry, Mrs. Barry is my mum. Yes. And my sister's mum. She's going to ring if I may guess. It was like the water was coming through. Yeah. Well, I'm here, and I'll come from where Jim was, and the little bit where the water is. All oh, right. From there, right. Ah, okay. Cool. I've just realised, guys. I, I, we're not sure if we've got the whole phone um, charger for this camera, so I don't know how long the vlog's going to be this week. I've got to like, look inside my bag, which I'm going to unpack when we get back in a minute. If not, I'm going to have to get online and order one. Okay. Yeah. I hope this won't be very long. Yeah, me too. It might be on since bedtime. Look, something just went in there. Could be a fish. Yeah, there's it. There's some fish in there. Oh, Crocodile, shark, oh. alligator, oh, yeah, anaconda, piranhas. <laughs> piranhas, yeah. <gasps> Did you see that? Yeah, there was something there then. Wow, nature. So these girls, uh, we just took them for a nice walk. Well, I said I take the kids for a walk. <laughs> <laughs> I took the dogs for a walk. Uh, they're all good. They're going to a science museum. We're not even asleep. Yeah. Daddy's mum. We did. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Ah. Yeah, and the gardener is actually starting at the latest. I just Let spoke to him next Monday, but he said they might start this week. Mr. Banana Head, he's hitting the latest hits. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Do you? No. Have yeah. a tickle. Have ah. a tickle. So I finally edited the vlog. It's like 20 past one and I still need to have a shower. Amazing. Uh, but the good news is I found the charger. Uh, so the vlog is saved. That's the best news. And also I found this website where I can look for crew, like camera operators, and editors and stuff. And I put this whole advert up about um, applying to work with me. Uh, Cause I've met loads of people so far and I just, for one thing or another so far, it just hasn't worked out right. And I know moving to the studio is such a big thing, so it needs to be perfect. The person who I want to work with, I'll either employ them or I'll just take them on a couple of days a week. But they need to be like you. They need to be like my best friend. Uh, I've also noticed on the vlog, this little latch that keeps falling down, uh, the last vlog was quite heavy with that in the top corners. Uh, so for the moment all I'm going to do is try and be very aware of it because it doesn't open fully the shutter But I'll push it up there now and it's staying there. So that's fine But in most of that edit and I don't know why I have this hat on. I just found it like wow I found that from years ago 
Um, yeah, if I can sort of remember to do that for now, that'll do. The, the screw in the back of the screen's worked a charm. And uh, yeah, I've just uploaded the video. It's going to take three hours. So I think I'll hop in the shower, nip out, grab some lunch. Uh, Mrs. Barry just rang me and uh, instead of actually us cooking dinner, she said, can we just get a takeout and have a movie night? And that sounds amazing. So I'll uh, get the dogs walked nice and early and actually just, yeah, just spend some time with Mrs. Barry, which would be great. Uh, so that's it. Shower, food, go see the studio and uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, start to like meet some people to uh, interview for the studio. It's, it's, really, it's just got to be so right. I want them to be like, you know, I've had work with cameramen before where they're like, rrr, rrr. so uh, yeah, hopefully. Everyone's very chilled. Well, I say everyone, I'm the only human here. But uh, look, you've got personality, huh? You're very chilled. Oh, big stretch, huh? Hello, hello, boy. And you? You don't sort of hang around with each other that much anymore in the day, apart from when I go out, which is what I'm just about to do. So will I come back and will they be all mischievous? I don't know. Hello. I'm gonna come up to you. Up. Hello. Hello. Hello, 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 hello. So I'm doing this recipe roulette thing tomorrow. I've put a post on my Patreon page saying, hey, if you've got an idea. Oh, it's doing the thing. Huh? I'm gonna push that up. Yes. And that way, hopefully it won't fall down and do the thing in the top corner. Um, I want to call it recipe roulette, but I wasn't sure I would get a roulette wheel. I might struggle to get that today, or a bingo machine, because I've asked loads of people on Patreon to give me recipes beginning with the letter P. So I'm going to put them in the bingo machine, pull a few out, and then try and make a recipe out of it tomorrow. A roulette wheel would be cool, but... Then people will say, oh, you should have called it recipe bingo. But I like the idea. A recipe roulette just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? It rules off the tongue. Anyhow, let's go. Alrighty folks, uh, do, do, do. let's just lift that up. I think it's one I tilted down last week, or is it up? One of the two, and it just started to, I'm gonna lift it up, there we go, it's out of the way. Uh, get these like black things in the corners, so. I haven't seen the comments where that video hasn't gone up yet, but no doke, uh, no doke, no joke, uh, no doubt. I'll find, uh, some people will probably say, didn't like that. Uh, let's put a new toaster in, toaster and kettle now. Probably needs to go down there a little bit longer, that thing there, but uh, yeah, it's coming together now. Uh, while I was away, uh, the tiling done, only a small row of tiles because um, it's not a very high lip there, but just sort of gives it a nice little finish there with a teeny little tiled shelf as well. Look at that, fit for a mouse. Uh, so that was done over the weekend. And also, uh, the door, I love that view, it's so cool. The door was put on here uh, as well on the Friday. Uh, so this is looking nice. It's uh, I'm not going to lock it, but uh, you know, just to know that I possibly could, it's there. So pretty much from there now, I've got my own little. Well, I say little. It's a nice space, isn't it? I was trying to explain to people over the weekend how quite big this uh, <laughs> this space is. So uh, yeah, just uh, put my little thing on the. Oh look, cows. Hey cows, exciting. Um, I put my little advert on the website, so hopefully we'll get some people excited. I can't really show you them on camera because it's not very fair, but it's got to be the right person. So, two major things have happened. I bought a bingo game. It's a very, very cheap one, and it scared the heck out of Amy when I first did it. She went running out here wondering what sort of animal it was, and also, for our anniversary, I've got Mrs. Barry some lovely flowers, uh, and they are extremely sharp. I just uh, nicked my thumb on it, so a nice little card. And I had to, well, I didn't know where the vases have been put now in our new kitchen layout, so um, you know, that's the nice side. Uh, I had to put it in a, in a jug. <laughs> Very food-esque though. I think it's sort of keeping with the theme. Uh, this is something I teased you with last week. There's a picture of me and Mrs. Barry at Centre Parks years ago. Actually, that was where we went for the spa day. Wow. That was us on a beach. Uh, that was in America somewhere. That was in LA. That was us in Niagara Falls. I always remember this picture because uh, Mrs. Barry's face is pretty much covered up. Uh, oh, push chair. <laughs> Selling our push chair and buggy and stuff. Okay, let's see if there's more interesting ones. Oh, that's me and my nan who passed away. She was like my best mate. That was when I used to work uh, in my old job. <gasps> Look at that. 
That's Mrs. Barry pregnant with actual Phoebe right in there. Right, there's probably loads more to show you, but that'll do. Hello. Hello. I was just uh, showing people the uh, old photos we've got, but you've just, there's a Costa coffee there, and I thought you were, got me one for our anniversary. Okay. Okay. But you ordered it, didn't like it. <laughs> See, that's, that's love, that is. We just got this picture of, look. Oh, no, what? Look, I remember that telly. Oh. What else did I just find? I need to be careful because there's some naughty ones here. Naughty ones, isn't it? Well, not, not really naughty ones, but um, well, that's the first like picture that, taken of Phoebe. Yeah, it's the first one taken of Phoebe. Right there. Oh, yeah. There she is. Uh, it's going to take a little while to load. Gosh, I remember that. Thinking, oh my gosh, I've got a baby. What am I going to do? I'm yeah. so scared. You're like, oh my baby, oh my baby. Scary. Um, let's find another one. This is her going home in a car seat from the hospital. Uh, she looks like a little wrapper. Mm. There you go. Mm. <laughs> nice, huh? Nice. Um, Thanks, more emotional. This, uh, I'm just trying to see. This is you at a train station in America when we broke down. Remember that? I do. Actually, there's a video of it here. Oh no. But that's you. Show the video. No, <laughs> you didn't just show the video. <laughs> there we go. No, Lots of memories. That. Is it going? Is it going? Uh, it's got loads here. But I set Niagara Falls. <sighs> yeah. yeah, there we go. Yeah. Uh, there's loads more to show. Probably show them on other vlogs as well. Well, literally, the, only, the other vlog, it's 10 it's to 5, up. only just gone up. Really? It's taken that long to process. Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, hey, ho. Oh, thank you for my flowers. That's all right. I just realised we've got two fans. How was your day? Good. You went to a science museum, didn't you? Yeah. Um, what did you do there? Seeing all the science things. Yeah. Um, and we did, we went in this big... Planetarium thing, and we watched the summer stargazing thing, 3D person, really cool. Awesome. Yeah. So just before you go to bed, mm. we're gonna have a quick game of bingo that I bought earlier. All right. Is that okay? Yeah. You've never played it before, have you? No. You gotta be extra quiet though, because Chloe's in bed upstairs. I thought she want to come down and play it as well. All right. Fifteen? Nope, but I've got fifty-one. Me neither. Nope. This is like a poor man's national lottery, right? Yeah. This is gonna this is what's gonna start your gambling career. Yeah. <laughs> You're supposed to not like that. It's supposed to be like as in Dad, you're so silly. Oh. That's okay, you're too sensible. We have an official bingo caller now. <laughs> you would have thought we were gonna spend our anniversary like this. Who's put number one and number seven? Uh, <laughs> Phoebe's cheating. Oh, I've got number one. one. No, I've just got number seven. What? <gasps> that was Daddy who got number one. What? what then? No, Daddy number one. I've got number one on my card. All right. Oh. Number seven I... then. Oh, number no. one. Let's swap it. Yeah. Number one is... Bear with me. Isn't it Number eyes? one, Kelly's eye. Yeah. yeah. Bingo yeah, calling yeah, names. Chloe. Yeah. Nearly there, almost there. <laughs> Two fat ladies, 88, that's the big one. Everyone knows that. This has turned into the most intense game of bingo ever. We've only got like seven numbers left, right? Yeah. And we're both missing I, two. I don't want to say this number. Why? We're not, moving, we're not doing two. Thirteen. Thirteen? And... Yeah, baby! Now you're supposed to say, unlucky for some, number thirteen. All right, so. Oh my gosh, look how many keep. Yeah, we got through all them. <laughs> They're mental, eh? Thieves? Yeah. Oh, okay. You got two. I, I think I've lost a counter. Oh, no. But not a ball. Is it mine? There's one, two, three, four, five, six balls left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's okay. All right, Phoebes. Do it. No, this we're looking long, for 58. This is the longest game of bingo ever. I don't know, we were, yeah. for the first game we were christening it quite well. 
There you go. Could be it for Daddy. 33. <laughs> what? The chance of this? There's four left. Four left. And um, you've got two. Oh, I need okay. one. Sixty-two. <laughs> what? Sixty. Yeah, that's legitimate. Yeah, sixty-two is still missing. Are you sure, all the balls are. Yeah, hundred percent. <laughs> Look, twenty-nine, fifty-one, fifty-eight. Oh no, seventy-two. Fifty-eight. Seventy-six. No. Hang on a sec. Fifty-eight is 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 there, so it should be in there. So mine's in there. Twenty-nine, BB. 29's already been called, you haven't put your thing on it. Oh, Phoebe. <laughs> oh, hang on a sec. Cheetah. No, no, it's not. Yeah, 51's been called as well. Phoebe. You You've already won. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm really gutted now. Aww. Well, there you go. Congratulations, <laughs> Phoebe. You probably won about 10 minutes ago. <laughs> you just wanted to stay up later, didn't you? Yeah. No, Good I tactic. Didn't, I didn't even know. Okay. Uh, well, there we go. Well done. well done. You get to go to bed now. 72. 72. No way. It is, the is it really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. So I would have lost. Um, there you are, folks, yeah. just for independent verification. Number 58. If it's going to come on autofocus, this right, camera. Am I, am I being really that is a 58, okay, folks? Am I being really silly? How old do you play? Shoot 58. And bingo? 58. There we go. Shape and colour bingo. I have no idea. That's another oh, backup you option. Spin that. Mm. Oh, right. I was going to say this. There we go. So I would have definitely lost whoever I played. Well done, mate. Hey! Morning! Oh, let's do that thing just in case. There we go. <laughs> Probably do that every scene. Tuesday. Uh, wedding anniversary. We had Chinese takeaway. We sat on the sofa. Very brief amount of time. We fell asleep. Fell asleep, didn't we? We fell asleep. We fell asleep. Uh, I was down here till one thirty in the morning. Fell asleep, and I gradually crawled up to bed. That's weird. I don't actually come to bed. Get to bed. Actually, I did it once last week. All other times I fall asleep. Um, well, when I'm not here, when I am here. Hello. Mm. All right. Yeah. Nice. It was a smiley face, but I ate loads of it. Yeah, you showed me a picture. Um, they've been making smiley face breakfast in the morning. Right, Chloe? Yeah. Mummy made mommy and mummy made babies. Oh, nice. How about you, Mrs. Barry? Are you Good all morning. right today? Yeah. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Chinese is one of those weird foods where you have it as a takeaway. That the one that you got last night was really, really nice, wasn't it? Mm hmm But, like, it's salty. That's why it's and you get called full. Chinese takeaway. Why is it called Chinese takeaway? Because it's Chinese and it's a dry fruit. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, yeah, it's really salty, isn't it? So you get full up and then about half an hour later you're hungry again. But I think we did that, but we just fell asleep. So that kind of, that was okay. That was okay. Um, yeah. Today I'm doing a recipe and I don't know what. Because I haven't planned it yet. Um, well, I tried to plan it on the sofa last night, but I fell asleep. Thinking of something like banana -y. I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna have a look right now. Anything to say? Just want to eat. Nom 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 nom. We've got the world's easiest recipe going on today, folks. It's a banana puff pastry tart. It's just gone in. See that right there? Oh yeah. Uh, it's been fried in butter and cinnamon in here. A little bit of sugar on top. Egg wash. Blah blah blah. Puff pastry, and we've got some leftover caramel. Tins of caramel. So we're gonna make a cream out of that. This is messy. All right. This is good. This is rustic. Uh, we're gonna actually roll up. This pastry here, well, apart from the bit in the banana, no, all of that. We're going to roll up and use that and make jam tarts with the kids uh, later on because that just go back in the fridge. But these bits of banana, uh huh. What you want to do between you and I? Put a little bit of a caramel on that and straighten your gob. Nom 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 nom. In fact, you can do the journey with me. Oh my god, here we go. Now, if you guys know my kids as well as I do, this will make a lot of sense. Phoebe's jobs. Tidy room, Hoover. Dust the room. Dust, Hoover. Be kind. Help. 
Chloe's jobs? Nothing. <laughs> yeah. That's about right, bless them. Right, just finished, folks. Um, the, the cream, it's actually a warm tart, so by the time I got to you guys, it's kind of melted now. But I like it how it's found all the channels, so uh, it is absolutely breathtaking. Just had a taste of it, all caramelised and sweet, and the bananas with the cinnamon, and even the popcorn helps too. It's just really simple to make as well, so it could really impress your friends with it. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to go upstairs edit that video now. All right, video edit has gone really, really well. Um, I've just annoyingly had a phone call, well not annoyingly, it's, it's all good, uh, from the kitchen people because there was one extra unit that we needed and they are delivering it. He said, um, just to ring to let you know that um, we'll be with you in the next uh, two minutes. I'm like, two minutes? So I'm like, I'll be there in ten, alright? I've got to tell you guys. Uh, so we're just going to head there and then uh, that's the last little bit for the builders to come back and put that little bit in, bit of work top on the end. And then, uh, yeah. Just had an interesting phone call with a couple of uh, camera people, some more production companies. Uh, it's actually reiterated it in my video. Just got to meet the right person, you know. Uh, kind of like a relationship. Right, Amy? Just kind of like a relationship. You're going to be coming with me, you know. you got to be able to put up with them too. Um, but it might only be for a couple of days a week. But either way, you know. You don't want to work with people that you don't find interesting or don't have a passion or just seem a bit not creative enough, say. So. Well, that was a, <clears throat> a really weird situation. Um, I was going to the studio to meet the uh, guy who was delivering the kitchen. And I get a message from him saying, hello, I am, um, I think he was Italian. That's not a very good Italian accent, I know. But he's like, hello, I'm stuck in the um, petrol station. It was like, well, he wasn't in the petrol station. He was five minutes from the petrol station because his truck, his truck, you're a delivery driver, and his truck had run out of petrol. And I had to, well rather than going to the studio in the end, sorry I'm just trying to put my tripod down. Ooh. Um, rather than going to the, this isn't working, hang on. There we go. Um, ooh, look at my flowers. Rather than going to the studio in the end, I met him five minutes away from a petrol station, which he'd walked to, to go get a, a can to fill up with petrol, to fill his vehicle up. And because I've got the van, it was only like a small unit, if we put it from his truck into my van, and rather than going to the studio there, no, the van's up there now. I'm going to pop back there later because the microwave's just arrived as well. <laughs> so, all a bit bizarre, but the good news is the video is on the way. It's all due to go up. Hello, you. You okay? Hmm? I'm being very quiet. Yish. Yish. What the? Hello. You look exhausted. I am. You look exhausted too. Can I tell you something? Yeah. We just went to the World Place project and guess what I done? I don't know what you did. I fell in some mud. You fell in some mud? Look <laughs> your eyes when you say that. And then... I can't see no mud on you. I know, but I I changed my clothes. Oh, did she... Was it wet mud? Yes. Yeah. Was it funny, Phoebe? Yeah. Did you laugh? I bet you laughed and then cried because everyone else was laughing. No? Can I tickle you? No. Okay. No! Okay. Well, I'm glad you guys have had fun. Yeah. Huh? That sounds like right fun. I've been upstairs. I've literally just finished doing everything I need to do for my video. So I'm just going to go walk the dogs, actually. But you guys look too pooped to join me. Mm. Uh. I think they are. They've walked, been walking since 10 o'clock this morning. All no, right. I'm you got to try some of that banana tart up there. I will. Definitely. Cool. I've just got to capture this because we're playing a serious game of bingo. Bingo! And Chloe's winning. I got yeah. five left. Um, 76. Yes! Oh, she's coming back. Phoebe was miles behind. But here we go, it's getting pretty tense. Even Boston doesn't know what to do himself. Huh? <laughs> 40. Oh no. Uh, number 9. Eleven. No. Yes. Whoa. Oh. Three more numbers for me. Mm. One more number for me. <laughs> Sisters again. Thirty. No. no. <laughs> number. Sixty-six. Yeah. Oh, did you win? Shout bingo. You shout bingo. bingo. All right. Bingo. 
Alright. <laughs> Chloe wins. And look how excited Amy is. <laughs> Do you wow. Us three keep playing. Mmm. Can if you want, but you want she's the winner. Yeah. Morning, everybody. Hello, Phoebe. Hello. Hello, Chloe. Hello. Uh. Like, come on, jump up. That's Phoebe used to wear. Oh wow! I remember Phoebe wearing that. Is that what you got to say? I like you. All right. I that. <laughs> yeah. Look at size of you now, Phoebe. You. Massive. Uh, right, so today I'm attempting to do uh, another recipe roulette because the concept proved popular. Uh, I have a very high tech pen and paper right here. Uh, it's actually an envelope. And I have the bingo machine right there. And I'm going to spin the wheel. And I'm going to ask uh, this is for people on Patreon, first of all. Um, uh, give me an ingredient beginning with the letter P. And I haven't even looked at the thing yet. Um, so basically, I'm going to roll the ball out the machine uh, and if it's like number 30 the the 30th comment whatever that green is I'll write it down I'll probably pull out maybe five ingredients something like that and then the... did you say um, an ingredient begin with P? yeah like Phoebe I got one paprika <gasps> I, I hope someone's put that because everyone knows how much daddy loves paprika mm -hmm. right yeah are you okay <laughs> I think pepperoni, pizza. if it isn't pizza, yeah, just just yeah, yeah, just a food pizza, that would be fine. Uh, so I'm gonna do that now, and then we'll see we'll see how it goes. I'm pretty it's tired this morning. Good. Like the weekend is still catching up to me, and because uh, yesterday was pretty flat out doing all the videos and stuff. Uh, I kind of I can't remember Monday. Monday. What? Monday. I, I was just busy Monday. Yeah, I just feel like I need a day just to sleep all day. Just knackered, but it's all good. Uh, Mrs. Barry's off to work today. So let's crack on and see what we're going to come up with. Uh, just had a look at the ingredients and this recipe, potentially, uh, is going to be horrendous, I think. It's a pie with pastrami, pepperoni, peas. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out. This pie is, uh, yeah, Patreon pie. We're going to have pastrami, pepperoni, peas, parsnips, uh, parmesan, parsley in there. Um, and Prosecco. <laughs> yep, Prosecco right there. Um, I think it'll be all right. I, I think it will be okay. I don't know. I'm really scared. What do you think, huh? You think this is going to be all right? P for Patreon. <laughs> the Patreon pie. The guys aren't impressed, are you? No. It's okay. I'm gonna still do it anyway, alright? I don't think I don't care. Alright? You guys have been very patient today. It was raining so badly earlier, I haven't walked them so well. Alright, this is going in the oven and hopefully this will work. The filling is amazing to be fair. Well that didn't turn out too badly. It's just come out of the oven. It is insanely hot. Uh, I've got the P there on the top, you know, stereotypical, but really, really happy with that. Uh, I'm going to just let it cool down insanely. I still haven't taken the dogs out, it's just started hammering down with rain again. It's really horrible. Oh no. Oh my word, folks. It, I've just had a taste of it. It is phenomenal. It's like a parsnip prosecco pie. It's a really nice kind of like risotto vibe going on. And, uh, it held itself together quite now well with the Prosecco sauce that we put a little bit of flour in. And other pies, you kind of cut it open, it falls apart. But it's kind of sort of, sort of settled because we've wedged it with ingredients. And um, I really hope that you do get inspired to give this one a go and sort of make your own sort of twist on it. And if you do try it, uh, do tag me on the My Virgin Kitchen accounts, all right? Well, you guys have been super patient. I just transferred my files and uh, it's time for a walk, isn't it? Yeah, you love a walkies, don't you? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You like it too, don't you? Huh? You're really sleepy today, Boston. Huh? Sleepy. Nah, you okay? Yeah, she's fine. He's quiet, though. Kids are going to be happy, aren't they, guys? <laughs> Let me call you kids, then. These are the skateboards that Phoebe and Chloe have ordered ages ago. And I've got to be honest, Phoebe's at the age now where she'll be alright with the skateboard. Or she can learn. These are like trainee ones. But Chloe just wants whatever Phoebe does, so that's why we've pretty much got her one as well. Um, but this is... 
Whoa, on laminate? Yeah, that's gonna, they're gonna fly. So I don't think these are gonna get hammered too hard, but hey, hey. Boston, you're very obedient. <laughs> I just said sit and you got on it. <laughs> you don't care. You're like one of those other YouTube videos. You got the angle, mate. There you go. <laughs> well, you're a good boy. Huh? You sat right on it. All right. Hello, Mrs. Perry. Hello. We've got to go get our kids now, right? Yeah. What do you think of the skateboards, huh? I Let's see you go on it. I think we should have a go. Go on, you have a go. I'm, I'm terrible at skateboards. Oh, my God. <laughs> you're on laminate floor. That's slippy. Yeah. I can't remember who's his. I think that's Phoebe's. Uh, that's I think that's Chloe's. Do you? I think the one with the green wheels is Chloe. I don't. I think Phoebe wanted that one. Chloe wanted that one. Right. Well, yeah. They're going to want to go on them. <laughs> See, I told you, they're as far as dangerous. Yeah, you know they're going to go on this, though, in here. And one of them's going to get really, really hurt. Yeah, I'll take them outside. Yeah. I've rang the bloke about this bit as well, today. Oh, yeah, when are you going to come last week? He was supposed to come last week, but he uh, has hurt himself, which makes me feel really safe. Good morning. It's Thursday. I hope you slept well. Is that weird to say that? Oh, let's pop that up. Um, yeah, hope hope you're good. Um, I've just heard from the gardeners that they're supposed to be coming next week and they're like oh we might have to come the week after now i'm like no because i don't even see our garden there okay it's looking like a bomb site but i've actually already thrown out my lawnmower because they were supposed to be coming this week um and it's starting to look like jurassic park out there so that's been a bit of a thing this morning like <gasps> shock horror if we're in like a soap it'd be like doo, doo, doo. see you next week find out what happens so Hopefully, uh, we can get it resolved. Um, and the other thing is, if they do start on Monday, which they're 99% certainly will, uh, I'm actually going to be in London with the Barshans filming. We never do Barshans on a Monday because trying to get into London, Monday morning traffic, is going to be insane. So I'm not going to be here the day that they arrive to actually set them up and get them going, but I guess they know what they're doing, right? So, hey-ho, we'll leave them, uh, we'll leave them at that. And uh, yeah, uh, the kids are off to my mum's today, babysitting, they got really excited with their skateboards uh, last night. I think we're going to have a little uh, walk the dogs and take them along with me. And uh, yeah, I think I've got to work out whether I'm going to do a video today or loads of admin -y stuff for my accountant. So, uh, but I need to do two more this week so that I can actually afford to go to Barsham's. So, busy, busy times. Go on then, Phoebs. Wee. I've got skateboard. You have, haven't you? But I'm going to take it to Nanny's. So speedy. Oh, cool. It, they arrived yesterday. <laughs> she went backwards on it. <laughs> and I was sitting in my idea, then I fell off. I was on the floor. Oh, gosh. And you've got a bit of pug power. Yeah, puggy power. I Boston's pulling you along like a reindeer. Yeah. Or you're pulling him along, I don't know. Right, uh, all back home now, and we're cracking on by making an actual recipe. I don't know if you can tell, but this week for me, this, this is what happens when I go to these things at the weekend. Uh, oh, push you up. Sorry. Mimi and Phoebe tried to fix it a minute ago. That's better. Uh, the, hopefully the black bit. Did you see it? It was right there. Um, I'm just really, really unorganised this week in, in so many ways. It's just like, uh, frustrates me when I'm like that. But it's good because cinnamon roll is a recipe that's been requested so much. And I, I've wanted to do lots of times before. So, oh, we've got some milk. Mm. It's got a bit of skin on it. Should, I should actually be recording this. <laughs> yeah. So, the good thing about this is I can do this scene like that, turn that off, and you guys watching that video be like, oh wow, he was looking great. And I haven't actually had a shower yet, we just done all the dogs and all that. Cracked on with this, because I've got to let the dough rest, so I'm doing these steps without showing my face, and then I'll go have a shower while the dough's resting. Cha ching Oh, that's better. Just add me shower. Look how hot she is. I thought I could hear something panting. You okay? You just sunbathing. Yeah, I've got water and everything, so maybe they're just enjoying it. I'm jealous. Huh? I'm jealous right now. Uh, so yeah, I had a shower, and uh, while the dough has proved a little bit, it's sort of, I'm not going to touch it too much, but it has got itself a bit bigger. So that's all worked out okay. It's time to crack on. Guys, the sunbathing is really getting to me, all right? 
Huh? This isn't a holiday camp, right? Huh? Come on now. All right, so uh, cinnamon rolls. For a first attempt, I'm quite happy with that. They're all in there. Uh, hopefully increasing in size as we let them prove. Uh, got a bit of butter on my tea towel, but it's all good. Uh, loads of dough left over, which we're probably gonna make. Uh, I'm thinking we might make some jam tarts out of that later. Using lots of dough this week. It's all coming together really, really well. Um, the, just the cream cheese icing that's in there is looking good. You can't see in there. No, you can see my legs instead. It's, it's really good. I'm very, very excited. I, haven't, I put off doing cinnamon rolls for like six years. Uh, I've had so many requests to do them. I don't think these will be perfect. They, they, you know, they're in the pan, they're not looking all bunched together and symmetrical how some people do them, but I think they're gonna be great. So uh, it's a good excuse to do them again. Over the moon, are we Liz? <laughs> With how these cinnamon rolls have turned out. Oh my gosh. They are just, I've had a little cheeky taste of a teeny one. There's loads still in the tray right there. We put um, sugar and butter at the bottom so it caramelizes as it bakes as well, just so you caramelize the bottom. Mm, mm, mm. Um, and this cream cheese frosting is phenomenal. Gonna let them cool a little bit, drench that on there. And I've decided I'm not gonna edit the video today because as I said earlier, I'm exhausted. I just, uh, there's so much other stuff that I need to be doing. Uh, I'm just filming non-stop. But the reason I'm filming is because of Barshans on Monday and then on Tuesday I have to have the girls um, that we can't get a babysitter. So Tuesday is when I would normally film this. Uh, so probably next Tuesday we'll probably have some sort of funky day out on the vlog. Um, yeah, so it's all worth it. It just means like this week has just become bonkers. But it'll be a blessing in disguise because next week when the gardeners are here, hopefully doing that, I won't have to be filming with them in the background making noise. So uh, I just need a bit of a lie down. <laughs> so by having a rest, what I mean is I'm not just gonna go upstairs and edit a video uh, like normal. I need to, for this science video tomorrow, the food science is a playlist I've always wanted to start off and uh, I think it'll be quite fun. I'm gonna go get a lab coat and uh, a w wacky wig. I want it like Doc Brown from Back to the Future, maybe some marigold gloves. Um, some of them I'd like to do with the kids as well. I think that'd be quite funny. Um, but this one tomorrow is quite dangerous. It's very dangerous. So uh, <laughs> I'm rubbish at science as well. well. We'll see how it goes. So basically that's what I'm gonna do this afternoon. I'm gonna go out and forage for stuff to actually make my day easier tomorrow. So I can just get that video done and then hopefully I might get a bit of a weekend off. Right then, ladies and gents, I have just uh, popped to my local town center and bought um, the lab coat, which is actually a doctor's robe, uh, crazy wig and gloves for tomorrow. Also some lighter fluid, a lighter, and a plant pot. Uh, now the video that I saw online that has uh, given me the idea to try and do had a plant pot with sand. And I live near the beach, so I'm gonna get some authentic Western super sand for the uh, experiment tomorrow. Problem I've got is that the bit of beach that I've come to is renowned. Well, my whole hometown, they call my hometown Western super mud because if the beaches here were like golden sand, like everyone would come here. It's just, apart from that, that's the only thing really wrong with the beach. Uh, but it can be okay, but like it's pretty much mud all the time. So it might be that I end up putting my uh, thing in mud. Hey ho, uh, let's get me pot. Where is it? There it is. Lush, look at that thing. No expense spared. And uh, for peace of mind, it's waterproof. I just hope it's flame proof. Despite having the wind muffler on here, it's actually really windy, so you probably might pick up a fight, quite a bit of this. Uh, I've been down there, and all the all the sand is all rocky and stony, kind of like this. But we are about to hit the sand dunes, which the dogs absolutely love running around in. So if we don't get sand, we might get a bit of dog poo. Uh, well, we pick ours up, but there's always a lot. Blair Witch Project around there, see? There we go, that looks like a decent sand dune there. Might be able to get something there. I'm sure it doesn't need to be too fine, but something for the flame to stop, I suppose. Oh, here we go. Middle-aged bloke with a pot of sand, as you do. Is this classed as theft? I don't know. There you go. Authentic Western Super Sand. Well, this is actually isn't Western Super Mare. This is part of Western Super Mare called, called Sand Bay. And I've flown my drone down here before, it's pretty cool. Here's the sand then folks. I am gonna drive home so, so carefully, like a proper Sunday driver. And not a single grain of sand has been spilt. Amazing, I drove so slow home, but it was really quiet on the road, so that's cool. Um, I'm gonna have to keep this safe till tomorrow. <sighs> All right. 
You guys had a good sleep? Yeah. Yeah, you have. Did I wake you up? Sorry. Sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. I totally forgot. I'm supposed to be putting up a video today. I'm 10 minutes late. <sighs> what is wrong with me at the moment? It's all good. It's, we're getting up. I'm just uh, about to come down from the loft for the day. And uh, I've had some emails uh, for... I found this amazing website. Because um, I think I've said to you guys this week that I'm really looking to find uh, a camera person that just hopefully will get it, if that makes sense. I'm also creatively amazing. And I've just seen two showreels, like CVs for like, hey, show me what you can do, which always isn't the case. Uh, you know, you've got to take it with a pinch of salt. But there's uh, one person in particular, <laughs> I don't know why I did that, that looks like phenomenal and it lives around the corner from me so it's all about getting on with them and it's just like letting them have free reign but it's really really exciting so i'm going to hopefully do some interviews maybe tomorrow uh maybe into next week now as well but i'm really like looking forward to this new step it's going to be a refreshing change you know i shouldn't really be talking to you on this ladder <laughs> if i fell now right now that'd be an amazing blooper but i would probably break my leg kids are back i don't think they've taken their helmets off you like the helmet, kids? Yeah. Chloe, what are you doing? What are you dancing like that for, huh? Such a nut. Oh my gosh. All right, we need to pan that away. Um, Phoebe's attached to the skateboard. And Mrs. Barry's back from work, right? I'm eating your cinnamon rolls. Eating the cinnamon rolls. Nice, huh? Mm -hmm. The cream cheese frosting is really nice as well. Um, we're going to take the dogs out, right? Mm -hmm. So these guys get a bit more time on there. <laughs> oh my god. You're bonkers. No. What? I just seen what you were talking about earlier. What, the pot of sand? Yeah. Yeah, I got into the beach and got some. Why then? I'm going to try and do a science experiment tomorrow, which might go horribly wrong, but it's going to be a video anyway. Sand on the floor. Oh, right, no, there will be if we knock it over. Okay, so stay away from it. Three metres away. Well, we were with the kids. They're right in the distance over there. And let's just say, I think Chloe and Phoebe have had a long day. They got a little bit tired and squabbly, but I would have liked to have actually captured that on camera just to show you. It's not all laughter with them, but I was too busy trying to catch up with Amy, who we've let off the lead, and she's just like running around doing her thing. So, uh, yeah, it looks like an early night for them kids. They must be worn out. They did frisbee golf earlier, so I'm sure they had fun. Come on, Amy. Stop foraging, mate. Oh, hello. <laughs> wow. Hello. Hello. Oh gosh, this is the camera lens. Yeah? Can I film you on the... I've already got you on there. Yeah? Do it three more times. Three more times? It's kind of like a feature length movie. Chloe on the slide, the movie. Let's see if uh, pop that up. Alright. Hello. She ain't got that helmet off still. Come on in. Oh god. Squabble. Don't need any help. So when you can tell she's tired. Go on, Chloe. Don't miss the seat. What's the matter with you? Alright, go! <laughs> Mrs. Barry craving a turn. <laughs> Morning everyone, it's Friday. Um, <clears throat> the day where we're going to try and do this science experiment where it is actually very dangerous. It is actually legitimately dangerous. I need to have a real good think about it before I start it. Hello Chloe! Hello! How was your day yesterday? Good, I guess what? I'm going out with mommy and dad so we can keep it cool. You're going out? To, to the park and guess what? I don't know. And we're going to bring a skate bag. Wow! That sounds amazing. Uh, so yeah, the kids are going out. I'm doing a science experiment. Oh, I've got to get down to the studio, let the builders in, because they're putting in the last kitchen unit. 
I might actually walk the dogs there to unlock. That might be quite, that might work out quite well because it's about the same distance that we normally walk the dogs. Does that sound right with you? Huh? You just want to eat, don't you? Do you want treats? Huh? You want treats? Come on, up. No? He does want treats, he does. So, uh, a little bit of breakfast. Maybe take the dogs up to the studio, open up for the builders, and then we turn into wacky scientist mode for a little bit. Are you ready to be a mad scientist? No. No? No, I'm not. Why not? I don't know. I'm, I'm actually generally, I haven't really researched this idea that much. Gosh. I need to probably do that I first. Do, that. do you think it's okay to put lighter fluid? It's, oh, it's only a small amount, but I'm going to do it there, right by the gas. No, that'll be alright, that'll be alright. Don't worry. Don't worry about me. You know, high I'm five. I'm worried about you, I'm worried about our house. You're leaving me hanging. And the kitchen. Not uh, you. <laughs> thanks. No, of course I'm worried about you. And the house. Don't destroy our nice new house. Please. Please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so hello. About to do this. You guys are going up to the park. You got your helmet on again. <laughs> hello, ah. anybody there? Um, I'm actually quite scared about doing this experiment, but. Um, if you haven't seen one of my other videos recently, I've been walking around wearing barefoot uh, with flames being used, used here. I'm worried about two things. One, no, three things. One, the smoke alarm going off. Two, someone knocking at the door when I'm dressed like uh, a scientist with a wig on. Uh, and three, this sort of just going everywhere and landing on my foot, hence why I'm wearing trainers rather than flip flops. But it'll be alright, right? Yeah. Think it's going to be good? Yeah. Okay. I'm actually really, really scared right now. I've just realised this is the first you've seen of me in the uh, outfit. I'm, I'm actually wearing my trainers as well, which I never do uh, when I cook normally, but I just, we're about to set this on fire. Uh, I have got a fire blanket and a massive jug of water just to one side over there if it all goes to pot. Oh, I'm actually shaking. The image stabilisation is kind of like holding it okay, but uh, oh, let's change that thing. There you go. Bye bye, little black thing in the corner. I need to sort that out. Um, I'm actually nervous. Why couldn't I have just done the lemon alarm clock to start? <sighs> Holy bejeebies, it worked. <laughs> oh my gosh, it worked. My house, luckily there's no soot on the ceiling. Uh, my house stinks like we've had an indoor barbecue. Mrs. Barry was wary of that. She's gonna hate me, she's gonna kill me. I'm gonna be in the doghouse for the rest of the day, but, but, look, look at it. It's a weird thing. I described it as like a mixture of a log mixed with coral. And look, you can even, it's cold now. Look, you just tap it and it just disintegrates. It's weird. Oh, could you even see that? <laughs> there you go, look. Science. Got the old Yankee candle going, folks, to get rid of the smell. <laughs> oh, yeah. What are you doing? That's <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you, you missed something cool. We should do it actually. Just uh, finishing building that video there. Uh, <laughs> a couple of these images do kind of sum up the video. Uh, this one will be up the same day as the vlog. So if you've been sent here from that or vice versa, uh, thank you. <laughs> so I've just come down to the studio and uh, put up some curtains. These are uh, these arrived earlier. These are actually. I know it's so echoey in here. There's, these are actually light deadening curtains. They actually, they're really thick. They kill a lot of light and they will help reduce the echo. It won't sound like it right now because the room's so bare. Uh, but yeah, I'm just about to meet someone about a potential job. Well, that's turned into a bit of a full on intense uh, afternoon. <coughs> Excuse me, my voice is gone. I've been talking so much. I just met one guy who's so nice um, that I think could do a really good job. It's, it's so important, I can't stress this enough guys, it's so important that I find the right person. And then I had a phone call with another person. Um, this person does want to come down, but if you can imagine, I spoke to someone yesterday about potentially work with me and they did not want to come down and meet me. They only wanted to speak to me over the phone. So straight away, that's a no-no. Um, but I'm meeting someone else that I've just spoken to then, he's gonna come down tomorrow. Um, so it's going to be really hard because everyone I've like been meeting so far are like 
just genuinely really excited for this opportunity. So it's a massive decision for me as well because it's like, oh my god, is this gonna work? <laughs> Hello. We're doing more. They join us in our more naps. They they both were going See, straight with it at loads of energy. Timer. So we're doing this Disney shake up thing that we found. Doing exercises. Huh? Yeah, but it's um. We have to do ten related minutes. To di they relate it to different Disney got films. We got three minutes left. Nice. Three minutes left. Like how red we are. I think we'll, <laughs> we need to put on our shorts and shorts. <laughs> Oh no. Morning everyone, it's Saturday, it's early. I'm about to go up to the studio and meet someone, a uh, potential colleague, obviously meeting loads of people as you saw yesterday. Hello. Hello. Um, both the girls are wearing their Christmas pyjamas again. Yeah? Last night. Last night. Last night. Not now. And we just make our syrup. Yeah. What a smiley, what a smiley face that is. Ah. <laughs> Hello Mrs Barry. Hi. It's a bit of a full on one today. Um, but as soon as we get this done, this time last week I was in London, which is pretty crazy. Dogs are being fed. Uh, we're going to go to the studio, a few tweaks to some videos, and I think we're doing some DIY around the house today. Yay! So I just got down to the studio, and I spoke to this person last night, and they were like, amazing, like so interested. And although I've already met some really cool people, it was like, you know, it's, I really want to meet more, just because just I've got, and I keep reiterating this, I've got to make it feel right. But this person that like, hasn't actually showed up, and I've, I've only been like half an hour, so you know, it's a long way for him to drive where he's coming from. Might be stuck in traffic, it's hard to find it, blah, blah, blah. So I've literally just uh, gone to the old McDonald's. See in the background now, you might be able to see an M somewhere with all the junk and rubbish from the studio. Uh, I just got myself a coffee, so I'll sit here for a little bit. I've tried ringing him, uh, but his house phone is he's not answering, so maybe he's on the way here. I don't know. <laughs> so he's just texted me, and I'm glad that I didn't go home, actually, because uh, he said he's gonna be here in about half an hour. And uh, I think when we were talking on the phone, he's like, oh yeah, my wife is working at eight in the morning on Saturday, so I can come then. And I think I must have heard that wrong, because I was like, assuming that he'd be here at eight, but obviously not, because he's maybe got to drop his wife to work. So uh, yeah, it makes much more sense and for a nine o'clock meet, doesn't it? And I think it's just me. Anyhow, uh, so I've just uh, had my little coffee, little cheeky little bagel as well. Very, very nice. I'm really full now. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna hopefully meet this guy. Like his show reel is phenomenal. He has actually like made TV shows on his own and like got them on Discovery and things like that. And um, <clears throat> just for initial chat on the phone, just seems like a really, really good guy but then all the other people i've met so far are really good it's so such a hard thing but ultimately it's going to come down to personality yeah and if they're willing to be make a fool of themselves on the internet because i don't do that nope nope all right so we've just finished meeting the chap uh, i was right i mean i was wrong oh no uh, i did uh, get the time wrong so uh he said i'm gonna leave my house at eight and um, yeah, i'm not gonna be near at eight i was to be fair that, that is fair, it was very, very early, but I've just met the guy and uh, we're gonna do a test shoot with him and a few other people next week. Again, can't rush it, it's gotta be worth it. It's very echoey in here still. Uh, yeah, he came up with the most amazing idea for a show and I cannot wait to, I, I wanna make it now, but um, calmly, quietly, we're gonna enjoy it. And have a, whoever it is that I take on, we're gonna have the coolest boss in the world, right? All right, so uh, just raised Phoebe's saddle mm -hmm. and her handlebars. A little bit. Yeah, it's as big as that bike will go. We'll have to get a new one. And Chloe's learning to ride a bike. But she's actually never had stabilizers on. Is that cool? You start falling and you stop yourself. That's it. Yeah. Not even got stabilizers on. Look at you. <laughs> Do you feel really high with your saddle? Yeah. Like racing, you're crazy. Mm -hmm. You think you've worn that helmet most of the week? All day. <laughs> <laughs> How's the biking going? Ow! How's that going for you, Beck? Alright? <laughs> What's the matter, Clay? Oh, you're not happy, keep... are you? Because you can't do it straight away. <laughs> She doesn't like it when she can't do things first time. Hey? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Gets 
She's getting it. <laughs> Look at Chloe, she just gets easily distracted. Like, oh, look, a tree. You're doing it, mate. I know. You calm down now. Yeah. Good. Oh, I'm in such a noise. And now I calm down in the park. You got so annoyed. <sighs> she just said she calmed down in the park. Yeah. Right, come on then, we can do this. Phoebe's over here, just. She's got it. What the heck is going on? Welcome to my life. What's the matter with you? Mummy's just got off on Phoebe's bike. I look around and you're like, ugh. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's find Mummy. Don't leave me, don't leave me. Oh my gosh, this is my life summed up in one video clip. <laughs> right, that all got a bit crazy. Uh, all right now uh, yeah right thank you for watching this week's vlog people we've had a very crazy old week have you had a good week yeah Look. and so i got a wobbly case okay thanks for watching see you next time bye bye oh mrs barry you all right hello you had a good week i've had a very good week thank you yeah. i'm sat in the wrong spot though are you i'm sat above your feet oh I yeah think. i'm just taking my shoes off after a long old Sorry. walk all right so we'll see you next week bye, bye. Bye. bye! And a big fat bye! Bye! <laughs>